On the menu today, meatball stroganoff pasta bec with mushroom sauce. All right, so let's start with the meatballs. Everyone loves the meatball. The kids love it, the parents love it, I love it. I mean, I didn't invent the meatballs, but you can put your twist on it. And uh, because it's a stroganoff, I'm gonna add a little bit of schmuck paprika into the mix. Uh, so here we go, I've got a beautiful uh, beef, a little bit of fat in it, as I said before millions of times. More fat, more flavor. Into this, I've got an egg. Dijon mustard, which is French for mustard. <laughs> garlic. Now, garlic, I'm going to use a macro plane because I want the garlic to be really finely chopped. Some breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs just helps to hold it together, but also to keep it kind of moist. I hate when a meatball is hard and, and chewy. You want this to be nice and fluffy. All right, uh, smoked paprika, uh, delicious. So smoked paprika comes from the capsicum, which has been dried and, and ground and smoked. So I usually mix uh, this with my hands, but I just went to uh, the nail parlor this morning, so I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna, I'm joking. <laughs> You're kidding me? And just mix it. and. That is really important to mix all the ingredients so well. You can't do this with a spoon, okay? You can't. It doesn't work. So just use your hands. All right, so obviously salt and salt and pepper. I know I repeat it all the time, be generous with it, but if you didn't hear it the first time, at least you know you get it again. I mean, I put parsley. You can put uh, basil if you want or Oregano, or oregano. And because it's a pasta bag, I've got to cook the pasta first, which is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. So while I'm playing with my balls, I'm going to put the pasta in boiling water with salt. So while the pasta are cooking, that's where I start shaping my balls. So not like, not too big, not too small. You know, you want a couple of bites out, out of each. Um, Sometimes when they're too small, they cook too quickly. When they're too big, then it doesn't mix with the pasta properly, okay? So about, um, like about ping, ping pong ball side. All right, so last pan, olive oil. And guess what's next? Butter. So the little trick here, as I put oil and butter together, I'm just waiting for the butter to turn to what we call in French noisette, with a little blonde hazelnut color, because otherwise it's not hot enough. And here we go, see? You can hear the balls cooking already as soon as you put them in. See? Two seconds in the pan and I already get caramelization. Why? Because I waited for the butter to turn to that noisette. So, so the reason why you want to get instant caramelization is because you don't want to fully cook the meatballs into the pan because they're going to go also mix in the pasta and then in the oven. So if you cook them for too long, too chewy. I mean stroganoff usually beef, onion, mushroom, stock and cream. So I've got the onion here, I've got the mushroom and the mushroom sauce. Fish my meatballs out for a minute. Man, I wish we could create smelly vision because this is already smelling so good. So what I've got left in that pan right now is the olive oil, the butter obviously, but all the smoked paprika that's bleeding out. And so the next step is I'm gonna add the onions into that pan. 
I've got brown mushrooms here, but you can use butter mushrooms if you want any type of mushrooms. And I mix it a little bit like this, but I'm going to add a little bit more smoked paprika because I really love the smokiness of that dish. And then cook it down. If you don't cook your spices, then if you got that, that flour mixture into the end of your sauce and not right. If you look closer, I'll find this mixture a little bit closer. So I am gonna be generous with the butter and just add a little bit more. It will help the mushroom to caramelize a bit more too. Okay, now pasta. Penne. Penne in Italian means quill. Quill uh, like, you know, a pen. And the reason why is because in the old days, the, what do you call it, grandma? The, the nannies? No, the nones, the nones. The nones used to wrap the pasta uh, around a pencil. And that's why it's called pen, a pen. I've got another story about tortolini, but I'll tell you another time. They cook al dente, al dente. Al dente means when you bite them, they've got a little bite to the tooth. Al dente, dent. Dent is tooth in French, and also I think in Italian. <laughs> I'll make it up perhaps, I don't know. The mushrooms and the onions and the paprika smelling delicious right now. And the beginning of the sauce is I'm going to use some of that pasta water. Why? Because it's got starch from the pasta in there and it's going to help to thicken that sauce. Just a little ladle or two. Okay, so now I've got my pasta water into there, which is pretty much done. I'm going to add the mushroom sauce. So a normal stroganoff, you would actually mix this little strip of beef with the onion, with the mushroom. You would saute the whole lot with smoked paprika. Then you have to add the stock. Then you have to add the cream. Then you have you'd be there for another half an hour. The sauce, the mushroom sauce, cut that down. All right, into this, because green is always healthier, a little bit of baby spinach. And that baby spinach is gonna wilt down. Now, if your kids don't like grains, just put the spinach aside. Mix it with the sauce. Well, now it wouldn't be a pasta bag with a little bit of cheese. So I've got two different cheeses here. One that I'm going to put in the pasta right now. It's called tasty cheese. No, I don't know why they call it tasty cheese because to me, every cheese is a bloody tasty. So anyway, here we go. And that's going to help to really, um, you know, just stick the pasta together. Pour the pasta on top of the meatballs, really. Look at that. Now you can go and spend $150 a head in a fine dining restaurant, or you come to Manny's restaurant tonight and have this beautiful pasta bag. Last but not least, a little bit more cheese, some grated mozzarella on the top like this. I suddenly feel that I am becoming Italian more than French, am I? Look at this, oh. Now all you have to do is in the oven, 200 degrees for about 10 minutes until it's nice, melted and golden. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, look at this. Nice and crispy. And whatever the cookies do, it's me this. So imagine those beautiful, juicy, smoky meatballs swimming in my beautiful mushroom sauce with crispy pasta and cheese.